Hi everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Fishing WA. Today, Ryan, you're going to see something amazing. We've got so much good footage, I just can't wait to see it myself. We've watched about 10 times ourselves. We're here in the Mackerel Islands. That's Rosalie Kay. Let's have a look at what you're going to see today. Today might very well be the most exciting show we've ever made. With monster, pupper crunching, bone jarring, giant trevally. Come on! Oh! Then sailfish from only 10 metres of water. Onslow is a place you could easily overlook when travelling across WA, but those who know about the Mackerel Islands could never just drive past it. Coral atolls loaded with sportfish make sure that even the most jaded of anglers comes away with an adrenaline rush, and there's no fish to get it rushing better than the giant trevally of Rosley Cay. Look at this magnificent island. Rosley Cay this is. One of the mackerel group islands, and my goodness me, have you ever seen a better looking habitat? Today, we're after Giant Trevally. Follow, follow me, Jig Jig oh. And that's a Giant Trevally. Oh, right next to the reef, how's that on cue? Tell the folks at home where we are, and bang, on. Jeez, we've got some stamina. Nice, just get that boat forward and to the, the left, please. Nice one. Just keep that boat moving, there's a lot of rocks around here. So we're just going to keep following with the fish. Look at that. Nice. What a GT. That's a beauty, mate. That's about 10 kilos, maybe nice. maybe 12. Dumbbell popper, they, they just can't resist. Such a big popper. Big poppers get big GTs. Look at that. These boga grips are made for this job. You've got your leader on now? Yep. Yep. Let me get the leader. Got the leader. Okay, this is a 100 pound leader. I'm going to show you our rig in a minute. but. I'm going to boga grip this fish. See, now I've got a good hold with the boga grips. On comes the fish. And you can even get a measurement here. Oh, you know what, Ryan? They're saying 24 pounds. Well, it's accurate. It's boga. It has to be accurate. It's actually certified, IGFA certified. So, no lying with this fish. Well, it's my first fish from Mackerel Islands. The Rosleys, great fish. And there's a lot more bigger ones there. So, we're going to throw this one back in. Come on, mate, where's your mum and dad? Off he goes, look at it. Back to the reef. You can hit there with a hammer and they'll be all right. These fish are seriously big, as you've seen, and there's a lot more big ones down there, so we need some really good gear, strong gear. What I've got here is that's platyl braid. That's a long double there. That's just giving me more strength. That knot there, you can either use a double uni. I've used a, what they call a GT knot. Long leader, probably about two metres of 100 pound jinkai, then to the actual lure end, I've got a loop knife. It's going to give the popper plenty of movement through the water. Yep! Big old Steve! Come on! <laughs> Timing, cue. <sighs> in that white water again. <sighs> Boy, there's so many huge queen fish in here too. Come on, mate, you're coming out with Steve O. I'm going to stick the old pan into you, and you're coming out of those rocks. <laughs> Whoa, it's gone through a rock, I can feel it. Man, look at the bend in that rod. I was just saying, talking about using heavy gear for heavy fish. Oh, well, you got to. Look this this is a big rod, and I'm laying the boots into him. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to stop him, he's a big one. Oh, he's, he's in the reef. the reef. I reckon lock up, mate. Pumping back. I can feel my arms shaking already from adrenaline. Oh, oh. gone. That was fun. <laughs> There's heaps more. Oh. Well, I don't think I need to say any more about serious gear. Just as I was really interrupted by Steve losing that big fish. Jeez, there's a lot of fish here. As I was saying, big cup face. That's dispersing a lot of water. That just basically floats. And as it goes through the water, it just makes a massive boom noise. And that just creates, I mean, look at that. They absolutely annihilate it. Serious gear for serious fish, I'm back out. Come on! Whoa, that's massive! That is massive! Oh, that's a massive big GT! Stop him, stop him, Steve, stop him! Oh, oh through the hooks! Woo! That was about 40 kilos! It was enormous! 
If you need a break from the fishing, Rosalie Kay also has amazing diving and we counted over 30 species just sitting under our anchored boat. One of those, of course, is the GT and just look at the power. They're a predator at the top of the food chain and those dumbbell poppers just fire them up. We're not going to be able to stop these Here things. we go, here we go, behind my popper. Come on. Oh! What is oh it? Oh my goodness! Tuna, I think. No, they're GTs, mate. Are they? Yeah. They're dark. You won? Yep. Oh, awesome fish. Not giving them any leeway here. That doesn't. Look behind There's him. There's one with it. What's with it? Is that Cobe? It's a GT, mate. It's a GT. It's got to be. It's very dark. That's you got a GT, mate. It's a massive big black one. Oh, look, for the people at home, this is a massive fish. I thought it might have been a tuna, but Steve thinks it's Trevally, and looking at it now in the water, oh, yeah. I think he's got it spot on. He <laughs> pegged this fish for a big GT. And Steve lost his. Oh, there was, more there. there's six or seven more. There's oh, yeah, there's more there. Stacks. And that's what we said, mate. Back of that island. River to sea dumbbell poppers, they cannot resist. Oh, they can't be beat. Look at this. Quality pen spin fisher reel. Now that is what you need for these seriously big fish. <laughs> and that rod, look at it. That's like those big midway suckers. Oh, this is massive GT. And you're right, Steve, they are dark. I was sort of used to the lighter colour ones, yeah. you're right. Just like you get at Midway Island, the famous ones. The dark ones, Here we mate. go, look at this, look at this, look at this. this. Look at this. I think yeah. we'll get the net, mate. Uh, Nige, if you can. A serious, massive, he'd be every part of nearly 50 pounds. Mate, I'm giving him 20 kilos easy. Yep. It's going to be real hard to get in. Just go ahead in, mate, don't worry about it. I'm going to do one, one, one right, pull ready? across, drop down in the water, in the water. Well done, mate. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get him out of the water. <laughs> that's more than 20. Oh, that's every part 50 pounds. Look at that. Have mercy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Have mercy. And look what he's done to that popper. He's such a powerful fish. He has absolutely annihilated it. But it's okay, we've got more poppers and there's some more serious fish. We'll get it out and show you. <laughs> I'm going to put a boga grip on his lip so we can release him gently. That is a 30 kilo giant trevally and, and with the excitement died, <laughs> died down. <laughs> I don't think that lure is coming back to play. One fish a lure, I don't mind if they're this big. I'm just going to pop him in. What an awesome fish. Just slide him down into the water, but I've got him, mate. You ready? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be terrible. <laughs> there he goes. Just there it is, tough as old boots. Unbelievable. <laughs> GTs, they do like white water, but they also love exposed bombies in front of reefs. And that's why we're chucking poppers into this one. And when you use them, just bloop. Don't wind them fast. It's the spray that gets them fired up. Yep, on him, on him, on him. Big GT, big GT in the open this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, you, come on. I'll take a couple of pics for you as well, if you want. Good on you, mate. Because the Fishing WA magazine this is the sort of action that you get in there. Wow! There's another one with him. Get a lure in there. There's two more with him. Are you serious? Two more. Get a lure in there. Right in his hammer. Not as big. It's a GT. Mate, get that popper over the back of mine. I'll just, I'll just get him a bit closer. Oh my goodness! I can see on the surface there's at least 15 of them over the back, cruising like big torpedoes. See? I'll sneak behind you. Yeah, I'll do that, mate. Do Drop your camera to pick up the rod. Okay, here we go. How visual is this? Oh, that's a massive GT. Now, just go, go over top of me. Look at them all. Look at them all. Oh, great visual. Come on. Hit the dumbbell. Come on. Here's, you can hear it. Come on. Come hit on. it. Hit it. Hit Come it. On. Hit it. Hit Come it. On. Get excited. He's going. Go He's going. On. He's going. He's going. He had to go. Come on. There's another one. He's peeled off. He's got, oh, he's going and he's going. They're all going. He's got it. Yes. <laughs> Woohoo. Woo Woo oh, he dropped it. Go again. Oh, They're everywhere. Ryan, get those boga grips. I've okay. caught myself a bus. I've got the 319 from Rosalie Kay.
Well, mate, I'll do the honours for you. It's time for you to do the honours for me. Mate, that's equally as big as my 30, 32 kilo fish. The net was a bit of an issue, so we'll use the bogus. That's what they're there for. Mate, you've done well. This pen rod has really gone off. And of course, you can't beat the spin fishers, mate. That's why we use pen. Because you're fishing for gear. Like, for 319s. How good is this? 319s from Rosalie K. You need gear that works. Here it comes, mate. Okay. Leader, up. Okay. I oh, see how easy that was with the bogus. That's why. They're just worth every cent you pay for them. Look, they're not the cheapest thing in the market, but when you're using as often as we are, quality pays. Great fish. I'll pull it aboard, Steve. Yeah, pull it aboard. Okay. Coming up. Count of three. One, two, three. Woof, ah, look at that. There's 60 pound scales and it's bottomed <sighs> out. He's gone look over at, 60 pounds. Look at that. <laughs> Gently drop him in. Well done. Oh yes, Steve. this is the Mackerel Islands. It's going off. This is Karanks Ignoblis, the giant Trevally. Rosalie K, Ryan, I told you it was good here, didn't I? Mate, that was absolutely awesome. Big fish, we've got uh, all sorts of damages to our poppers, but we don't care. Steve's got a 30 kilo plus GT, so do I. This place rocks. We're going in. Oh. Just gonna swim the fish, make sure it's all right. At least we're doing the right thing. We don't want to just leave it and floating on the surface. We're going to swim it a little bit. They're tough fish. Oh yeah, they sure are. Beautiful stuff. See this? He looked like he was dead. That's why if you're going to be a sport fisherman or woman, you've got to be prepared to not just catch the fish, but if you're going to practice what you preach, you have to swim them. He's got lactic acid built up, just like if you go for a long run. And he's gonna be just absolutely dead tired. So the last thing you wanna do is just let him sink to the bottom. So by putting this oxygenated water over the gills, what we're now doing is dispersing that lactic acid, helping him get back to where he wants to be. Look at that, he's kicking now. Starting to swim. Okay, I'm gonna put a neutral. Neutral. Neutral now. Fish is going to go. You ready? He's going to be tired, but he's going to go. His tail's kicking. Come on, mate. Oops. He's got my boga grips. Give him back. <laughs> <laughs> they work. Come on, mate. 